Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I... Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Yaren's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. What do you do, my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Gran wouldn't let him. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. Nice. My parents died when I was real little. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material in order to gain true wealth. Happiness. Go ahead and give thing you own at, as a first level pill. Uh, but the screams. What? Giving you everything I own. Old thinking. Clinging to your old. But that's what. And the first wealth of your material. Be kidding. You want. The first step is neighbor. But it's the to cast off your old road towards your future and happiness. It's worth a small price. What do I give everything I own? And you're still stuck in your still life. But that and the shed yourself sessions. What in mind and don't want No, sorry, I point. You everything. Seriously think I'm handing this full of suckers. Look outside. One of them handed over owned in return for well, for its false hope. Worth it to them. Whatever you want. But you're leaving here naked. Your choice. Your choice what you- That's not how this- yeah.